Welcome to the Industrial Talk Podcast. So glad that you are here. We are continuing our series of why, why you need to podcast again. And I'll reiterate it. Either you got to bring it in-house and do it yourself and keep at it and make sure that it uh, continues to add value to everybody who listens and your prospects and your customers and your partners or find somebody to do it for you. Either way, all roads lead to the fact that you got to bring this into your portfolio of solutions that are needed. Okay? So we're back to that. We've been discussing over the past couple of podcasts about content, and we started out with uh, the macro, because I really don't know what else to call it, but it's the big stuff, you know, the, the classic uh, blogs and reports and and uh, also the, you know, the podcast, if you do the podcast, which you got to do, and, uh, and then be able to slice that content, that macro down into micro, what are what what I call micro, and that is, you know, snippets and things that uh, are important to get that information out there. But all, all are designed specifically to um, content creation, right? That's what we're all about. And I, I still believe that we're not creating enough content or content that creates uh, attention because we have a lot of uh, digital boredom out there. It's the same old, same old. Uh, stock photos, things like that. So let's try to figure out how to mix it up. And I think podcasts and this particular platform and whatever you guys uh, think about is the way to go. And so we're going to talk a little bit about, like I said, we we got the macro, micro, and now we're going to talk about ultra micro. And you can only imagine that that's even smaller, right? Ultra micro. You can coin it any way you so choose. But if you're watching out on video, which I hope you are, there we are. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the ultra micro content creation. And this is daily. And uh, really what it is is just you just keep on. I think the biggest driver in this particular uh, segment of ultra micro, everybody says, hey, I've already created a blog. Hey, I've done a podcast. Hey, I uh, you know did a webinar, whatever it might be. And then uh, let's say I go down to the uh, micro level and I snip it up and create some sort of promotional uh, uh, pieces out of that promotional content. But the real important part about any of these digital platforms is the engagement, right? And so what I recommend, and this requires time, but if you're looking for a 2020 solution into your marketing, sales, and branding efforts, you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot uh, ignore the engagement component of that effort reason. So everybody posts. That's fantastic. Everybody tries to gain attention. That's all fantastic. The real people who and companies who succeed have this level of engagement. Not just a thumbs up. Not just a a, flip it click. No, really looking at the content. If it is a, a blog from your partner, from your prospect, from your, you know, customer, you have to go in it with a meaningful purpose of really truly getting engaged and reading exactly what they're all about. And then you can't just give a thumbs up because then it doesn't show that you're trying to understand uh, what is being written or posted. You have, to, you have to write something. You have to be truthful in your assessment. Uh, I'm not saying to go down the road of, of you know, burning bridges and all that good stuff, and, but I am saying that you have to be engaged. You cannot be a part of a digital platform without the expressed purpose of being engaged. You know what that does? Yeah, that's right. Your customer prospect, your partner, whoever it might be, and even internal people like that. I know I do. When when somebody actually gets engaged with my uh, content, I'm, I'm on it. I want to get, I want to say, yeah, you know, you're right about that. Hey, that's great feedback. Thank you very much. And then I will then take that and I'll say, you know what, uh, Susie Joe commented on my my post and I thought it was really insightful of what she had to say. And I will, if it's if it's feedback, I'll say, you know what, I'm going to modify. I'm going to do whatever it is. It's very very important and very powerful, but it requires a little content or a little focus, and uh, you got to do it. There's, there's no ifs ands or buts. If you're going to say, hey, I'm going to be uh, positioning my company for 2020 and beyond, the the only thing that you can do is is 
be engaged as well. And uh, if you if you're saying I can't do it, find somebody to do it. Find somebody to say, okay, I'm going to do it, and and I will get engaged, and and then be able to sort of uh, filter, for lack of a better term, filter. Uh, the comments or, or hey, here's, here's a company that did something that was pretty spectacular and mentioned you, get in it. Get on it. Get that feedback going. So that's my ultra micro. And, of course, you can create other very small snippets. I have, I have tools to create small videos, snippets, quotes. Positive quotes are always fantastic. And, boy, you know what is also anything that humanizes. Once again, I've mentioned that a number of times in all the other posts humanization. Humanize your content as much as you possibly can, and that means engagement, but but everybody loves to see that human element. Heroes, philanthropy, all of that stuff is super important. So that's ultra micro content creation. You cannot, you cannot get around that. So if I do it right on a daily basis, and when we talk about quality and quantity, I'm looking at about 25 separate pieces of micro content that can be um, part of your content strategy and content development. Make sense? That is what it's all about. So in this series about content, right, we talked a lot about that repurposing. We talked a lot about the, the ultra content and being able to slice and dice that up to make it relevant to people, humanizing, and then, of course, ultra micro content creation or what? Really small content, but you've got to be engaged. Those are the keys. You cannot, you cannot have a successful campaign in 2020 without ha- being engaged. And that goes from top to bottom, no if ands, or buts. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about the math in the next episode where, okay, we've done this, that, the other thing, and then on a, you can create a ton of valuable, insightful, other-focused content from what we just did. That's powerful stuff. That's why you need to be doing podcasting. That's why you need to either bring it in your house or you do it or find somebody to do it. Either or, you got to do it because it is a powerful tool and it differentiates you. Thank you. Thank you again all the time. Uh, Appreciate you joining the Industrial Talk Podcast. I'm here to help. This platform's here to help. You just reach out to me. Go to industrialtalk.com. Reach out. I'll help you in any way, shape I can. I want you to be a success. Thank you. Be safe as well as be bold, be brave, dare greatly, change the world. That's what we're all about. Take care. Talk to you later. You're listening to the Industrial Talk Podcast Network. 